So here he is, we're going to look into my stock Robin Hood. Alright, so I got S&P 500. And we got Vanguard, S&P 500. Shells, Microsoft, Wells Fargo. I think it's IBN um, or some type of bank. Now, my share is only got one share in it, 1904. I think I bought it $19, I believe, or maybe, let's see how much I, uh, I bought it for. Yeah, $19. So, it's only a four cent. <laughs> yeah, I only penny stocks. I'm playing around in this. Um, just doing something, but I'm really interested in SPO one. I'm trying to. I was kind of trying to mimic my four hundred one k plan with my job and put some into that and everything. But I really don't have none. As you can see, my um investment is only at two forty seven and eighty cent. It was doing bad all day, and then it it went up. Shit, I guess a couple of hours ago. Everything started going up, but all these stocks went up before closing. And as you can see, it's still up after hours, up six cent, you know, up six percent. And after hours, so like all these was, but most of all these was in a red, like they was down. They just went up. Now I got uh, Wells Fargo. Wells Fargo was doing pretty well last week. Wells Fargo reached its all-time high last week, in the net. $51.41. Now, I was doing call, I was doing options and everything, call options, but I didn't really understand it. And at the last minute, I found out that you have to hide that money. So I bought a call at fifty one fifty last week for the, I think it was the 13th, yeah, for the s for the 13th. So the week before that, I had bought a... Uh, uh, auction, a car auction for fifty one fifty, and it was on a Friday, and uh, over the weekend it just skyrocketed from like forty, forty seven, or forty six dollars, somewhere around that forty seven or forty six dollars skyrocketed from there, and it got up to like uh, fifty one forty one before I learned that if it hit fifty one fifty. I better have five five thousand dollars, like five thousand five hundred dollars in my bank account, or to buy a hundred hundred shares, and it was real close to uh, as you can see, it's real close to hitting that fifty one fifty and everything before I uh sold, before I uh executed and I sold to get rid of it and everything. So when I do get about five thousand, maybe ten thousand dollars, we play around with maybe around tax season and everything. I think I'm going to take, I'm going to even take five, like I said, I'm going to take about $5,000 and I'm going to put it into it and put it into it so that if it hit it, if I put a call, if I put a call for an auction at five, you know, about running that price and everything, I can have the money to cover it and everything. But I want to catch one low enough to where I don't need a full 5000 and let it hit. I'm probably gonna put it up for a fire a fire out day to give it time to, you know, do what it do to move to where I wanted to move at. So I do understand that a little bit better now. So until then I'm just I just throw little nickels and dimes and on uh, to certain stocks and everything. Not literally nickel or dimes. Whatever little free money I do got to pay bills and everything, I'm just gonna throw it in here. You know, I don't care if it's twenty five, thirty dollars, forty dollars and everything, I'm just gonna Pick whichever stock I think is doing good for the time being or whatever. To what's a good investment to put into and everything. Like I said, I got S P 500, so um, that's poor man um, option. S P and Vanguard, is like poor man, poor man stock. So I'm just gonna keep putting money into that. Only got uh, what I got in here now. I'm gonna say my equity, fifteen dollars, ten dollars. Forty-seven dollars, seven dollars, fifty-two dollars. Wells Fargo, um, and I'm up actually uh, five, maybe five dollars. 
Maybe more, you know. I'm, yeah, I, no, I didn't put no money in today. So I think I bought it when it was at 43, 43. I think I bought my share at $43 and everything. So I'm up like uh, $9. I'm up by nine ten dollars at Wells Fargo. I bought this one at nineteen. This one, this is a bank, I believe. Uh, fertility stock and information. I think that's a bank, if I'm not mistaken. For uh, no, nah, it's not a bank. But yeah, I'm up. Um, yeah, I put thirty one. I think I bought it for thirty dollars. I'm up about. 85 cent. This another one. Bull equity ETF. Um, shit. I'm up about 55 cent. No, no, I'm not. Yeah, I'm up about 40 cent. I think I bought this one at $5. Uh, this one, I think I bought this at $10. Cause this one, I bought two shares. So this one was low. I bought two shares and let's see, I'm going to tell you how much I put into it. I think it was $10 exactly. Five and five. All them call options. Market about $12. So actually, I'm down $2. Even though it's showing them up. Yeah, I'm, I'm up down $2 in that one. Um, is this a weed stock or a firm cubicle stock? I'm still learning, so forgive me. Yeah, this is a medical pharmaceutical school, school stock. <clears throat> I'm just testing it out, saying we'll do low stocks. They say it's good to buy stocks at, at low price and everything. They have a low price, but obviously $115 is not low. But if I did have $115, I'll put that $115 in there and I own one share of it. Because it can skyrocket. I'm going to go to a one that. Is I know for sure it's a uh, low stock. This one, F F S D Pharma. Pharma. How about this one? That um, how much should I pay for this one? How much did I pay for this one? They don't say. Two dollars. So I'm down ten cent. <laughs> My market value is at 190, so I'm down 10 cent. But see, that they say it's a good thing, even though they money. Um, let me see. Let me go back. Four week, 52 week high for this one, four dollars and 44 cent. 52 week lows 128. So it's a chance that this can, once they set out whatever debt or whatever they got going on with them, it's a chance that this can go. It's a chance that it can skyrocket. And I only, I own. I own two, one shares of this. Now, if say for instance, when the next few months, it skyrocket past that one. Say it skyrocket up to about thirty dollars, and only I own one share. Of it. Say if it skyrocket up to two hundred dollars, like you you ain't seen st stock shares over the course of time they skyrocket. So say if this I bought it at one one ninety two, yeah, on two dollars, and I got one share of it and skyrocket. Mine's gonna double because my original price I bought for it was one ninety. My money gonna skyrocket all the way up from one dollar. It probably skyrocket all the way up to about I don't know. I, I still don't know. I'm still learning that. But it's a change you see the change for profit and gain and everything on the stock. And if I think it's gonna take a hit, guess what? I bail with my money. <laughs> if I think it's gonna take that much of a hit, you could bail with your money. Sell your stock and you can sell it in, in, in pocket and put it somewhere put it somewhere else. And let's see, I, I got one stock I bought three shares of because the price was real low. I'm gonna go to the one I bought three shares. Transglobe Energy. It's based in um Egypt. I got three shares. I think I bought it for five dollars if I'm not mistaken. Let's see, yeah, five dollars. With five dollars in it, I'm down three cent. But that ain't bad. I'm down three cent. You can see market value. My market value is four dollars and ninety-seven cent. I'm down that. 
Average cost is 163. So I got three shares in. Now say, say this is based in Egypt. I think. Let me go back. Uh, yeah, over there in Egypt somewhere. Yeah. Uh, say, say this stock become popular or for whatever reason, whatever goes on in it. And why does this keep doing that? They got a market cap of 100, $118 million. So say for whatever reason, so see right now is, is the average volume of people buying or interested in the stock is 178,000. Right now it's only, is right now the volume is higher than the average. So right now it's a lot of people in low key interest in this watch card, even though the stock ain't been moving. 52 week high. And it's 2030, $2.34. So for some reason right now it's a lot of people interested in this stock and it can it could just shoot. It could just skyrocket up for whatever reason like Egypt. Egypt, you gotta look at Egypt is building crazy right now. South Africa and Africa is is building crazy right now. So I think this is a good stock to get into. I, I me personally, I say I think this is a good stock to get into, and I'm gonna I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get to. It. I'm not gonna sell it. I got like I said, I got uh three shares, three shares of this stock right now. Hopefully it's skyrocketing, and I could profit, and make some good money off of this stock, and that's next two years hopefully it'll, it'll do something they talking about this stock a little bit that's how i found it. that's how i ran to it because i was in um yahoo finance or whatever and they talking about it now it's a weed stock i think and i really don't like weed stocks because I don't, I don't have no faith in the weed industry like that i really don't is this a weed stock yeah oh, this a weed stock. i really don't have no faith in the in the weed stocks i only got one but Still, it might do something, it might not. Like I said, I really don't. This has been up and running for about three or four years now, and they they had a low what you call anyway. So, like I said, I really don't have no faith in it, but I bought it anyway. Just have my hands in it, <laughs> my fingers in the cookie jar, you know. So let's see, it's going go over here. Like I said, seventy-one percent of stock ETFs. Growth and value ETFs, no bonds. It's all growth and value ETFs. And they're gonna tell you what it is. <clears throat> Bull, Fantasy, Vanguard, SP, like I said, nothing else. Nothing else. Let's see. Growth and value ETFs. Now I might pick something else. I might pick. I might go with Vanguard too. Vanguard and um, S and P 500. <clears throat> I'm, I'm going to go with them too eventually. I'm going to pick these two eventually and everything. I just keep putting money in and keep it. Like I said, right now I've been, I've been using Robinhood for the last. Since the beginning of this year, maybe six. No, not even that long. Well, I had I had to open it a year ago, but I never put nothing into it. Then this year, I decided, you know, like I said, doing my 401k. I just I decided to start my 401k this year, and I decided to to do a, a little side thing, a personal, what you call it, too. You know, a little money I don't really be using to pay no bills or whatever and stuff, and I'm not really saving. I go spending on something that's not important. Or whatever, so I already put it into here, and I and I'm saving it. So, like I said, I start like I said, I start off with five dollars here, five dollars there, ten dollars here, and I ain't sold a few stocks back and forth. <clears throat> so, so yeah, I got finance, engine, water, consumer goods, tax, healthcare, business. And I want to bring these up. I want to get past. I want to get into some more business. I had Apple. I don't know what happened. I sold Apple. 
So I want to get into more business and put more stocks in certain business, but I got to find a good one that could possibly take off. I do, I, do, I even go, I see waste management up here. I, go, I want to put into waste management because they've been, look at the last five years, they've been climbing too. So in the last five years, they climbed $86 and waste management can go up more. I got 65 billion. That's mid, mid cap, something like that. Micro crap is small. It really ain't gonna be no gain in that. But you never know. You're gonna get into something good. Standing in Black Dagger. Let's see what they at. It's like they've been doing good. Go to the last five years. They up 67% the last five years. The last month down $16. Last three months, $19. The last year, up $33. Up $33. Last day, $0.71. Cent. So, is they done growing? It could be. But then again, they might not be. You never know. You never know. It's a couple of stocks that I do have my eye on getting into. If I want to be able to you know, buy the shares, I don't want to try to nickel and dime, dime my way up like $5 here, $10 there. Now I want to go straight out. H&R Block, $25 to get into. Yeah, I dropped $25 to get into. They got a market cap of $4 billion. So I put money into that. Because that's me, even though it's me mid cap micro cap something like that i think millions is mid micro caps and a billion is mid cap something like that i'm still learning the terms though so forgive me if i'm saying it wrong um yeah that's pretty much it a couple bits i'm looking i got my eye on and it really shows when like if i go back here like i said Investment, I got Mike back here. So, this is just um, some odd ones. So, yeah, that's gonna be it.